Yo, what's up, family? I'm coming at y'all with episode two of the Best in Slot series. In episode one, we covered Ridgeway, and in this episode, we're covering the Coyote's Mask. This mask is the most effective and efficient exotic to not only providing crit for yourself, but also for your team. It's been the meta master around from crit based builds since his debut in Warlords. So, today, we're gonna test seven different Vigilance Unbreakable Coyote's Mask crit builds. The numbers are a bit interesting, but keep in mind that one build is missing 0.1% crit hit damage, and some are missing crit hit chance, but that doesn't affect the testing by much at all. But without further ado, let's get into the build overview. <laughs> Bars. Also keep in mind that all builds will carry the same specialization for test and accuracy across the board. And also, so you don't get confused on where you are in the video, in the bottom left hand corner you will find a label of what build you are currently viewing on screen. We will return for more testing after this overview. Feel free to skip through or pause when needed if I'm moving too fast. Now we are entering the per bullet damage test. In part 1 of all episodes, we only cover the PvE damage comparison, and in part 2, we follow up with the PvP damage results. Be aware, we are not testing the DPS of these builds, but only the damage last hit, being that the DPS counter is based on crit RNG to get higher build results. We will return back with a final analysis after we've collected our data. Feel free to skip this part if you only care to see for the results. I know this part gets a little boring.
Now that we've collected our data, a cell filled in green is best in category, a cell filled in blue is second best, and a cell filled in yellow is worst in category. Feel free to screenshot here or pause if you need it. After reading the chart, we can say that build one is a very reliable build setup. It provides an ample amount of crit chance while still maintaining a healthy amount of damage to give it that extra oomph. Great reliability, but sadly not best for an optimized player. Build two is similar to build one in the crit headshot and crit hit chance reliability department, but it's absolutely no to body shot performance. This build also has the added benefit to using the gift name backpack for a little bit more optimization. Build 3 is amazing for optimized players who struggle with headshots and is a solid choice to use for crit damage across the board. While it has great crit performance, it will suffer in non-crit situations. Build 4 is an amazing all-rounder by providing a good amount of crit to the body and head while holding a strong amount of damage to health. It doesn't necessarily shine in any particular area besides body crits, but it's still a solid choice. Build 5 is clearly best in slot for headshot damage over the rest. It does have a good amount of body shot damage, but not enough to make it an amazing all-rounder. I'd recommend this for any optimized player who is comfortable with hitting headshots. Build 6 sadly has nothing unique about it over the rest, and I wouldn't recommend this build over anything shown today. And as for Build 7, it cuts close against Build 3 with it covering everything that Build suffered to provide. Build 7 has amazing well-rounded crit and non-crit damage to the head, with this build's main flaw being crits on health. So if you're doing a lot of heroic content with minimal red NPCs, I definitely recommend this build. So here's the final results. Build 5 is the best in slot choice being that headshots are king and to be a great optimized player you will need to go for those big numbers. But as for builds 1, 3, and 7, they are great options if you don't really care about being all that sweaty, you know. But that's all I got for you guys. I hope this video was informational enough. In part 2, we will be covering the PvP damage comparisons. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love, baby. My bitches, red bone, ass fat, jello, light skin, yellow, iced out. Guys on the block with new shooters and movers. I ain't gotta do no cap. In the no draw zone, we're grinding up the cap.